As the United States of America remains stagnant on cryptocurrency, we see big countries like Taiwan allowing traditional banks to allow cryptocurrency trading to occur. But this week, Coinbase also clapped back again against the SEC. As many of you know, Coinbase was issued a Wells notice, basically indicating that they are selling unregistered securities. But what's very interesting about that Wells notice is how can somebody sell unregistered securities when there's been no framework defined, okay? Again, Gary Gensler, chair of the SEC, under oath, couldn't indicate whether Ethereum, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, was a security or not. And again, he's the person in charge. In addition to that, Gary Gensler posted a tweet saying this, intermediaries for investment contracts are required to comply with securities laws and register with the SEC. Instead, many crypto platforms are contending that their investment contracts are something else. The law cares about what something actually is, not what you call it. And then he goes on to tweet the day before about some investment tips for college students, which is absolutely ironic because number one, he's from the SEC. I don't think he's qualified to give financial advice and student loans are probably some of the most predatory loans in the United States of America. That's neither here nor there. I digress. Let's get back to Alongside Brian Armstrong was Coinbase's attorney, and he indicated that, you know, we've been served with this well notice, but I'm willing to talk to anybody from the SEC at any time. Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, said the same exact thing. In fact, they have actually been trying to talk to the SEC about some clear guidelines for Lord knows how long. And that's why they filed suit against the SEC and said, hey, we need clear guidelines so we can continue to do business. And again, the SEC refuses. But the interesting thing about Coinbase and why I do think they have a leg to stand on is the fact that Coinbase is a public company, okay? Um, that basically means they had to register with the SEC to allow their product, Coin, to go to market. And then they offer it to, you know, traders and people investing in it that are legally allowed to do so. So the fact that a public, that Coinbase was able to go public with the guidance of the SEC, but the SEC refuses to give any guidelines on cryptocurrency is a little bit of a conundrum there, you see? So that's where the problem starts. And then again, Gary Gensler saying, come in, comply with us, come register, blah, blah, blah. But they have no, re they have no guidelines. Again, that's very problematic. It's like, come in and register and then we'll attack you later. Also this week, Elizabeth Warren's cryptocurrency bill has been delayed due to lack of funding. One of the reasons why it's been delayed due to lack of funding is because nobody wants to back it. One of the reasons why is she wants to continue to criminalize good actors in the crypto space. So basically anybody who is opening a crypto company, participating in crypto, et cetera, she wants to go ahead and criminalize the good actors, the people that are doing the right thing, instead of actually creating some sort of framework to catch bad actors. And again, you guys, it's predatory, it's problematic, and I'm glad that she is actually getting delayed funding for this because this bill shouldn't go through. Ms. Warren is so concerned with what's happening in cryptocurrency that she fails to recognize what's happening in her own district and with other laws in the United States. As we've seen, there's been a lot of decriminalization happening in the US, which might not necessarily be a good thing, depending on how you look at it. Again, I am from the mindset, live free, harm none. And I do believe that it is a public servant's job to actively institute laws that could protect people, not predatory stuff. And again, the SEC is also behind the accredited investor law, and they wanna raise that from having 1 million in assets to 10 million in assets. That is predatory, and nobody should be ju judged on their intelligence or excuse me, nobody should be judged on the amount of money they have instead of their intelligence. Intelligence always comes first and their ability to be able to invest properly in markets. One thing I think Americans fail to realize is that the term investment carries risk. No matter what, it carries risk. And again, that kind of stems back to our public schools and what they teach, etc. But anyways, babes, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts, and catch more news about crypto stuff. Oh, by the way, Coinbase is also giving some sort of NFTs out or having people mint those to stand with crypto. But I do want to remind you, they stole that entire idea from the organization I work with, DCTA. And we even have a Fox News article written about this. Either way, neither here nor there. I'm willing to support whoever it is in this industry that is doing good to help retail investors. Keep that in mind. Bye-bye. Happy week.